Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to another video. So in this one I thought I would share with you guys on ways to advance in your career as a NICU nurse. I've been a NICU nurse for four years now and I'm going on to my fifth year now and it's pretty crazy to know that I've been a nurse for that long but I thought I would share with you guys on ways to advance in your career. So the first and very most common way that people like to advance in their career is to go back to school to become a neonatal nurse practitioner. So an NNP typically requires you to have two years of bedside experience and then you go back to school and do a two to three year program depending on how accelerated you want it. So it's really up to you. A lot of times people want to pursue the NNP because you do get a lot more autonomy and responsibility. So you do write orders for your patients, you're really involved in the patient's care, and there are some skills you're allowed to do as well. Like for example, a lot of NNPs can put in lines, central lines, such as UACs, UVCs, and PIC lines. And also a lot of NNPs are able to intubate as well. So if that's something you wanna do, then definitely look into it, but if you're a bedside nurse and you don't want to go back to school, then you can actually take some classes and get certified in order to do some of these skills. Like for example, you can take classes in order to be able to put in pick lines and get certified to do so. So you don't have to go back to school if you don't want to, but that's a route you're able to go to if that's something you're interested in. And of course, you need to be able to take a board exam and after you pass, you'll be able to get your license to practice being a NNP. So that is one route to go. But if you want to go back to school but not pursue NNP, another option is to consider becoming a CNS or a clinical nurse specialist. So I love teaching and educating and something that I'm interested in doing is going back to school to pursue becoming a CNS, which is a clinical nurse specialist. It's a two-year program and afterwards you have to take an exam as well and if you pass you get your CNS license and you can practice becoming a CNS with that. So it's something that I've been considering in the back of my mind because I do love teaching and educating. And if you want to pursue that, then that's something you can do. Um, a lot of CNSs are typically researchers. They do a lot of research for the hospital and educating nurses on some new policies and procedures. So it's really fascinating if that's something you're interested in. And another role that CNSs are involved in is usually typically new hires or new grad programs. They're usually involved in the education part of that. And that's something that I like doing as well. I do love bedside teaching and clinical teaching. And so CNSs are usually involved more of the outline of the entire program or new hire process in general. So if you don't want to go back to school, you can just become a preceptor, which is usually what I do, where I train new grad nurses or new hire nurses and nursing students as well. So that's something to consider if you like teaching and educating just as much as I do. Another role that you can pursue that doesn't require you to go back to school is to become a transport nurse. So in order to become a transport nurse, really all you need is a lot of bedside experience. You need to really know how to critically think on your feet because transport nurses usually are out on their own in the field. There may be a doctor with you, sometimes a respiratory therapist, but you really are the ones calling all the shots. So if you like a lot of autonomy, then transport nursing may be something you're interested in doing. And it's really fascinating to be able to go out in the field, pick up your patients, and you do get a lot of hands-on experience. But really in order to become a transport nurse, you just need a lot of experience. You may take courses that your hospital provides for you. Of course, you're gonna get trained and usually you'll follow another transport nurse and you just, yeah, need a lot of bedside experience. So that's something you might wanna look into once you advanced further into your career. And if you still like that adrenaline, but you don't wanna go out on the field, then another option may be to become a resuscitation nurse. So resuscitation nurses are usually called to go into high-risk deliveries. You also need to be able to critically think on your feet as well and know how to handle critical situations. So a lot of times resuscitation nurses will go to these high-risk deliveries, especially if your hospital has an LND connected to it, that's an opportunity for you to go to deliveries and go to these high-risk ones. So that's something that I also like to do as well. So if that's something you're interested in, usually it just takes a lot of bedside experience as well and a lot of critical thinking skills and you will be trained into becoming a resuscitation nurse. So another option for you if you'd like to do some leadership experience is to be able to be a charge nurse. So I highly recommend talking to some of the charge nurses on your unit, ask them how they're able to pursue their role and how to advance further and what kind of responsibilities they have as charge nurses. So every charge nurse is different and the requirements to become a charge nurse is different 
depending on the hospital. So I highly recommend just asking around all your charge nurses or even your manager on how to pursue that role. But a lot of times it just takes years of experience and people on their unit will see that you're capable of having that leadership experience and they will advance you further. So it just really depends. But if that's something you're interested in, then definitely ask around on the nurses in your unit. And lastly, another option for you, if you're interested in the cardiac system as much as I am, then you might want to consider doing ECMO nursing. So when I try to explain to a person in layman terms what an ECMO nurse does, so basically ECMO is like dialysis for the heart and there's a machine that filters blood and pumps the blood to your patient. So it's really fascinating and if you do a little bit of research on it, it is pretty intense and crazy. But if you love learning about the cardiac system just as much as I do, then definitely take a look into wanting to become an ECMO nurse. So with ECMO nursing, it also requires just bedside experience of course you're going to get trained into your position and if you're lucky enough where your hospital has an ECMO team then you can join that ECMO team to do ECMO nursing so take a look into that that's something you're interested in but yeah those are really some of the ways you can advance further in your career as a NICU nurse let me know down in the comments below what other ways you're able to advance in your career as a NICU nurse of course these are just some of the options there are so many other opportunities as well so let me know down in the comments below if any of these interest you and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye.